Chapter 18 Oke kneeled on a quilt in the yard, enjoying the warmth of the sun. She was making dresses for the girls and concentrating on keeping her stitches small and straight. Okay, look, okay. Okay turned, put her hands to her face, and laughed. Matsu was walking toward her, carrying two giggling little girls as though they weighed nothing at all. Matsu looked as happy as the girls, and it was easy to forget he was samurai. Most people would not laugh at a samurai. Okay stood up and reached for Mary. Thank you, Matsu-san. I still tire easily. You were kind to take the girls for a walk. She smiled at the girls and said, And now, you two little sparrows, it is time for your nap. Okay climbed slowly up the stairs as the girls bounced along beside her. Will you sing to us, Okay, please? I love to hear you sing, said Francis. Okay, called out the samurai, smiling. I almost forgot. We saw your little finch this morning. He was in his favorite tree, and he was a happy bird today. Okay's eyes sparkled as she stood on the porch. She smiled as she thought of Matsu kneeling on top of the hill with the girls. In spite of his strength, he was a gentle man, and she wondered if the girls had ever succeeded in making him sing and dance for them. She was so happy that at first she did not see Herr Schnell and Mrs. Schnell standing together in the shadow of a tree. As she took the girls into the house, she happened to glance back just as Mrs. Schnell touched her husband's arm and also looked toward the house. How odd, thought O.K. Schnell Okusan looks sad. What did Schnell-san say? She felt a tremor of apprehension. Were they discussing her? Herr Schnell turned away from his wife and headed across the road. He stopped and looked out at the fields that once were green. He watched the workers as they carried small amounts of water to the dying plants. Then he slowly walked toward them. Oke could almost follow his thoughts. Water, all because of water. For a long time, Herr Schnell had believed the colony would succeed, but lately Oke felt this was no longer so. Everyone knew he was going back to Japan to obtain more supplies and that he was taking the whole family with him. Why would Mrs. Schnell be so sad? Okay, said Francis, gently tugging on Okay's sleeve. She was reminded of her duties. She looked down at Francis, smiled, and herded the girls into the house. The feeling of unease stayed with her as she went inside.